What's up guys, Lewis Morris Media back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to find car spots. Do you want to know how to find them? Get off your lazy ass and go find them. That's it. Thanks for watching, subscribe, see you next time. Okay, fine, I'll give you advice. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so my first option is going to be either a surprise to you or you're going to go like, what, why have I never thought that before? What's going on? is Google Earth. Yep, it's super easy to use. You can use it on your phone or your laptop, computer, whatever you got. So this is my go-to app when it comes to finding new locations from the comfort of my own room. <laughs> so it's really such an essential tool if you're a photographer. Cars, models, it doesn't matter what you're shooting. If it's outside and you need a location to shoot, this is literally gonna be so essential for you. And it's even helped me find locations in my own hometown, Leicester. Big up Leicester. <laughs> so it's helped me to find the spots that, yeah, I just never would have thought to look at. So if you're looking for a countryside spot, for example, in your town or on the outskirts, you can just go on the app, zoom out, have a look around, see where there's lots of green, lots of grass. And then you can obviously find those countryside spots. If you're on a bit of more of an inner city sort of location, you can obviously do the same thing. Just look around, use street view. So we're gonna jump on the app now, I'll show you. So say for example, I found this little street near the M1 that's in Leicester and I thought, I think to myself, that actually might be a good spot. So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna have a look now and what is that? What? Right, okay, so you find your spot, you find your location. So the first thing to do would be to look around. So obviously with this location, if I look up nice and high, you can see that you've got nice symmetrical lines down the middle of the road. I can use this location here, park the car in the middle. I'm gonna use my 350Z as an example. So I'm gonna take pictures of that just to test out obviously what it looks like. So we can use, could possibly use this location as well. I can use this bit or I can use the middle. There's no putting put in the car anywhere else other than having it in the middle because obviously look, that looks so much better than if you were to have it on the left or right. Like I said, just make sure you use your surroundings, have a look around and make sure that you're scoping every possible angle that you can. Yo, Scott looks sick. Um, yeah, shooting every possible angle that you can to get the most out of it. So we're gonna do two like pictures in this location just to test the spot, so let's do that. So there you go, in terms of using Google Earth, that's pretty much how the process goes. When I find a new location, I'll just literally go there and just check it out. Sometimes you might get to a location, it be, might not even be there anymore, so just make sure you do your research. A second option you can do for location finding is just go out and drive, just get in your car, don't even have a specific area or like not even looked on maps, just find somewhere or an area of your city that you've not been. Just drive around and just find locations. I found a lot of spots like this from just driving around. Just go on a nice drive, put some new tunes on that I've downloaded and just basically scout out locations in person. If you don't drive, use a bike, get your cardio in, get the calories burning. <laughs> if you don't have a bike, walk, download Pokemon Go get some kilometers in, get your steps in, burn them calories again. Just make sure you go into locations in your city that you've not been before, because you never know, you might find a nice, perfect like little road or a street that you can just use for a shoot that's like super symmetrical, just a banger location to shoot. So how many times are I gonna say spot and shoot in this video? <laughs> Quite a lot. Just remember as well, if you're finding the perfect location for the car, it's gonna make the photo look so much better. It's gonna add to the story. So if I'm gonna shoot a white car in a, in a black area so like if the car's white and all the buildings are black it's going to be that contrast of black and white and it's going to look sick so with a lot of cars you can add a lot of story to it because you're putting the car in a completely different area like the countryside which a lot of people that live in the city are just not used to so the fact that i've shot that rs4 that's green it really suited the area in the country, but obviously it's gonna look sick in the city anyway. So you can either take the car in the city, like this shot here, or you can take it to the country. So as you can see, it's got its own story for both locations. So the location can be everything. If you've just got a blank wall or a brick wall and it's right up against the wall, it's just, doesn't look good, it's not a story, it's just oh, it's a car against the wall. If you're a photographer and you're looking to really bring a story and a, and a meaning to the photo, location can be absolutely everything. Sometimes it's hard because of where you live, sometimes you've just not done your research, you, you could have 50 spots to shoot but you, because you can't be asked to go out and have a look for it or go on Google Earth you're not gonna find them. <laughs> so my third and final tip for today's video is gonna be a, quite a tricky one, which is 
asking other photographers for spots. So if, say for example, I wanna to go to Liverpool and I know a couple of photographers that do live in Liverpool. Um, there's a potential there for me to collab with them and they, they're gonna help me to find the lo locations. Now the reason I say it's a tricky one is because if you ask a photographer in their city, where's the best spots to shoot? A lot of the time, some photographers don't want you to shoot in their spots because it's like their locations or something. Some of other photographers don't don't really care they see the opportunity to collab with another photographer yeah man i'm gonna take you all to the best spots like that smash i want you to get good pictures but not everyone's like that and it's completely understandable it's just the way people are <laughs> so it could be a good opportunity to again to collab with someone else and also find spots for a shoot because you never know you might not be there again you might not go liverpool for a shoot and if i want to go newcastle i'm going to put on my story is there a photographer in Newcastle that can show me around and you get to shoot the car? So a good thing that you can do, or a spot, <laughs> so a good thing you can do for another photographer that's showing you locations is say to them, bring your camera, you can shoot the car as well. Nine times out of 10, they're gonna go, yeah, sick, I'll just, I might as well just show you the locations then. <laughs> so it's a really good way to collaborate with another photographer and at the same time, find new spots that you might get to and think, yo, this is sick. But the photographer that's already been living there for 16 years is gonna go, it's not really a sick spot because they're used to it, but for you it's fresh eyes, so yeah. I am gonna be, this year I am gonna be going to a lot of different cities shooting. I've got shoots booked in different locations. So if you are a photographer and you live in the UK, you might expect to see a message or a story off me saying, do you live in this city? Can you show me around? And you can shoot the car. So yeah, I wanna go everywhere. So I do wanna shoot in like London, obviously, like Manchester, Liverpool, I don't know, Hereford, <laughs> like Lake District, Scotland. Uh, S30 BMX lives up there. There's a lot of people in the car community that know who S30 BMX is. Cause Scotland looks sick, what a place to live. So I'll end up messaging Low Motive UK Media and just saying, can you show me around bro? He shoots Steve's car all the time anyway, so he knows the best spots. So there's three options you can use for finding locations. Write down a list, get all your spots done, book the shoots, take them to those spots and just smash it. Make 2021 your bitch, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep that. I already bleeped it. Because <laughs> you're watching it. This outro is terrible. But I'm gonna keep it in. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I wanna definitely grow the YouTube channel this year. Yeah, see you in the next one. I'm gonna slowly pan away. Spin away. Pan, spin. Oh, McDonald's. 2021's been good, boy. <laughs>